This will demonstrate how a tasking request is performed in the DIS application. Access to the tasking request view is available from all application pages by clicking on the tasking section link. In order to perform a tasking request, first select the tasking profile in the Auto Field Text Input Control. You can do this by directly typing the profile ID or bits of the profile name in the text input and select the wanted profile from the drop down list. You can also select from all available profiles by pushing the star label button on the right hand side of the Auto Field Control. Next, enter the list of devices you want to task. You can see the possible valid combinations on the right-hand side of the text area. The items in the list can be separated by comma, semicolon, space or new line. Wildcard star and question mark can be used as placeholders for any character sequence and any one character respectively. To change the tasking priority, you can modify the value in the priority text input. You can find the valid range for the tasking priority by moving the mouse over the question mark icon right next to the priority label. You can set the tasking notification type from the Notify Devices drop-down list. When you are ready to proceed, push the Task Devices button. You are now presented with the tasking confirmation screen. This page displays the profile, priority and the notification type selected in the previous screen together with information about devices that match the device list specification entered also in the tasking request screen. For each device in the list are displayed the directory number, the equipment ID, the subscriber ID, the model, the last confirmed profile, the last tasking priority, and the user or application that performed the last successful tasking on this device. You can choose to remove a device from the tasking list by pressing the button labeled with the minus sign corresponding to this device from the list. If the device's list specification entered in the tasking request screen refers to some devices you do not have tasking rights on, you are presented with a warning message. You may re-edit the tasking request by pushing the Edit Tasking button. When you are ready to proceed, push the Confirm Tasking button. Now that the tasking request has been performed, you are presented with the Tasking Progress screen. This screen contains the list of task devices together with information about their tasking lifecycle and configuration state. The states of the tasking lifecycle are Initiated The tasking requests move to this state right after it was sent to the SQP platform. Accepted by platform, which means that the SQP platform has accepted the tasking request. Sent to handset. Checked when the tasking request moved to accepted by platform state and the tasking request notification type was SMS immediately. Waiting for handset to report. Checked when the tasking request moved to accepted by platform state and the tasking request notification type was Next Upload. Handset reported in, which means that the device accepted the tasking request and an upload session has been triggered by tasking profile. The confirmation state properties displayed on this view are Device Registry State The last notification received from Device Registry Last Task the time of the last task request. Last tasked profile. The profile in the last tasking request. Last confirmed. 
the time of the last profile change confirmation and the last confirmed profile. You can return to a particular task in progress page by selecting it from the task in progress submenu.